Now let us talk about regular five spot pattern. So what you will do in this case, take out the four. So four injector wells will be in one unit and there will be one producing well in the center. So this is how it will look like. Now in this case, this specific pattern resembles staggered line drive. The producing wells are alternatively placed in between. So regular five spot pattern and staggered line drive pattern is same. And at max, what they can do that they can change the orientation of the structure of the pattern. So this is your regular five spot pattern as well as staggered line drive so the orientation has been tilted but the pattern and efficiency everything will remain same so in this case if we take one unit and if we consider one injector well it is injecting water into one two three and four four different wells and one specific unit has four injector wells so in this case, you can say that injector to producer ratio, the number of injector wells to number of producer well is 1 is to 1, but the, the number is same. Now instead of regular, there can be a small change in terminology. Instead of regular, they may write inverted. So in case of inverted, all the injector wells will get converted to producer well and all producer well will get converted to injector well. So the inverted 5 spot pattern and the regular 5 spot pattern will remain same because the number of injector well and producing well is same. Only the location is changing but when you have an overall view of the whole field, the pattern will remain same. So we'll talk about regular 7 spot pattern so this is your regular 7 spot pattern now again I think you can calculate the ratio between ratio of injector to producer now this will be your one unit right and when you consider one injector well it is injecting water into one, two and three different wells. So one injector well is getting shared between three producer wells and the number of injector wells in one unit are one, two, three, four, five, six. So the injector to producer ratio will be two is to one. For every one producing well, you will have two injector wells. Now if we replace irregular with inverted, these triangles will get converted to circle or basically your injector well will get converted to producer well and producer well will get converted to injector well so the ratio in this case will also get inverted so for every one injector well you will have two producer wells which is similar as we have just studied regular four spot pattern so they might ask you the question like that that the injector to producing well ratio is same in which of the following cases so this is one of the case which resembles the recovery and efficiency everything will be different 
only the ratio is same but the pattern recovery mobility aerial sweep efficiency of each of these factors will be different unlike what we have seen in staggered line drive and five spot regular pattern now if we talk about regular nine spot pattern so there will be eight injector wells surrounding one producing well now the number of injector wells is extremely high in this case compared to what we have seen till this point so again in order to calculate injector to producer ratio what you will do you will take one of the injector well now the condition varies in this case one of the well is getting shared between four wells but one type of well is getting shared between only two producing wells same goes for this well it will inject into four different wells but this will inject into two wells so it is slightly complicated but not very complicated so again there is one type of well which is getting shared between four producing well there is another type of well which is getting produced sorry which is getting shared between two producing wells the number of such wells will be 1 2 3 4 so similarly number of wells which is getting shared between only two producing wells will be 1 2 3 and 4 so 3 is to 1 will be the ratio so every for every one producing well you have three injector wells so these are the different patterns now similarly you can have inverted nine spot pattern in which this triangle will be get converted to circle basically your injector wells will be replaced with producing well and this center producing well will get replaced with one injector well so this is how it will look like and in this case the ratio will be 1 is to 3 3 three producer for one injector so these are the different types of patterns regular patterns which we see and among all these patterns five spot pattern and nine spot pattern are widely used especially five spot pattern is most common pattern for water flooding now there is fourth classification that is crystal and basal flooding pattern so when we talked about the wave crest is the topmost portion and basal is basically from the word base so let us say this is our reservoir and this portion is oil if you have a gas cap here now to improve the recovery process what you will do you will inject gases from your gas cap so this type of pattern is called as crystal now let us suppose there is a water zone in this region so you will introduce one injection well and inject water which will push your oil towards this producing well and this since this well is at the base it will be referred as basal pattern and if you talk about gas flooding i think i missed gas flooding in the last class so gas flooding gas flooding can be performed in two types of reservoir one of them is 
it can be used in a normal gas cap drive to push the oil and increase the flow rate the case which we can see here right now and secondly another application is its injection in retro gate reservoir so what happens in this reservoir there is a system of dew point and there is a dew point whenever pressure declines beyond this point there is a formation of liquid so there will be a liquid dropout if the pressure falls now in case of retrograde reservoir the gas injection is done in order to maintain high pressure and that pressure is maintained above the dew point pressure so that there is no formation of liquids because once liquid get generated in the reservoir first of all its saturation will be very less it will be of no use and moreover it will occupy the pore throats of your reservoir and once it occupies the pore throat of reservoirs it may block path of the remaining gas so the formation of liquid will reduce or it will decrease the recovery factor of a gas well and to avoid that we do gas flooding so these are the different cases of gas flooding and there is one more point related to gas flooding that gas flooding cannot be used in a structure which is horizontal in nature for example this the mobility of gas is very high than that of oil so for an oil reservoir gas flooding cannot be used in a horizontal structure now since the mobility of gas is greater than that of oil the oil remaining in the reservoir will get bypassed with gas so you are injecting gas and producing gas on another end and it will have no effect on oil recovery so these are few points about gas flooding